Okay, so I unpacked the my homemade food dehydrator and the parchment paper is still pretty clean, so I'm going to go ahead and reuse it. Put something on top of it so that it doesn't blow around. And maybe get up against the heater or something. I'm just using a little teeny oil heater turned on a low setting. And uh, if it was a hot summer day, yeah, I just turn it off. I turned it off one day, but it's been kind of cool and windy. So these whole ones weren't drying on the bottom shelf, so I moved them up here. And they've been in here a couple days and They're not moldy or anything, they're just not totally dry, but they are drying. So I'm hoping if I just move them up here closer to the heater. So the whole foods really need, you know, if you can find what the primo drying spot is, that's what they need. But the chopped or the sliced foods, they don't need that, so they can just go anywhere. And here's the hot peppers that are on the top shelf. And I just um, I put that in there so it wouldn't blow away. It's so windy. Um, I don't even need to, you know, like in the commercial food dehydrators, you have to put just really layer them thin, you know, one little slice. In here, they just seem to dry without having to do that, so. Or they did with the bell peppers. So, we'll get this closed up and Give those another day. My old repurposed kitchen cabinet. <laughs> and this was the counter that went on it, so I just picked that up and put it on top. And this is how many dried bell peppers. I got from I had um, enough to fill a like a kitchen strainer just mounding full so I don't know that'll that'll fill up like a easy a couple of quart two quart jars you know those half gallon jars maybe three quart jars yeah 